Hey, thanks for watching Gospel Sunday TV. I'm Keith Solis. So excited because I have a brand new transplant to the DFW area. Bishop Marvin Sapp. Hey, what's, what's up, up man? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing well. Good to see you again. It's good to be here. Uh, always a pleasure to talk to you because you always have so much stuff going on. So let's first of all start with this. You just moved to DFW yep. to pastor the Chosen Vessel in Fort Worth. For Chosen Vessel Church in Fort Worth, Texas. You left outside. Grand Rapids, Michigan, your home. Can you believe it? Dude. Man, I'm telling you. And the last time I was here, we never even thought about it. I mean, so I'm here now, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm excited because it's uh, it's a, it's a brand new beginning. Now we found out about it, I guess, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. But this has not been just some whim. This has been a, a process, right? Two years. Wow. Two years. Two years of conversation. Two years of prayer, and uh, you know, two years of me fighting it. <laughs> to be honest with you, but you know, I, I gave into mm -hmm. the will of God because it never works for you to fight. Right. Him, because right. you never win. Wow. And uh, so I'm down here now and uh, took over for uh, Bishop uh, Richard E. Young. Okay. And uh, he's retired now, and it's just exciting, man. It's, it's new, it's fresh, it's, it's going to be hot. I'm excited about it. Now, what can people expect when they show up at a church service at the Chosen Vessel with now Pastor Marvin Sapp? Because they're not going to a Marvin Sapp concert. No, it's definitely not a concert. I mean, people, and that's been the question. It's like, is that one of those concert churches? <laughs> and I was like, I've never been to a concert church unless it was a musical. Mm. Um, but no, it's, it's normal worship, you mm -hmm. know, with, uh, you know, prayer for cutting edge word that will encourage and strengthen, you know, the believers so that once they leave, mm -hmm. you know, they leave in power to, to be able to do effective change in the wow. community in which they live in. A lot of people don't know this aspect of me because all they know is, you know, that's never would have made it. That's yeah, best yeah, in me. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I've been I've been preaching almost 30 years. Wow. And been pastoring uh, 16 as okay. a senior pastor. Mm -hmm. And uh pastoral responsibility for 26 years Wow! because uh, I was a youth pastor for 10 years before I started my church. Okay. And so, you know, I'm not a novice at this, mm. but, uh, you know, uh, I'm definitely cutting edge. Okay. I'm not, I'm not the traditional, um, type of, uh, uh, preacher teacher. So it's, it's fun. Now with you now moving into the DFW area, of course, Kirk is here. You mm -hmm. got the mans who are here. Fred Hammond is here. Myron Butler, uh, there's something going on here in the gospel community in DFW. Why is it that DFW has now become, I guess, the hub? I don't know. I mean, I remember when Fred moved down here. It was a, kind of a shock that he left uh, Detroit and moved to to Dallas. Uh, he came because he felt like he needed something new and different mm -hmm. um, for his spiritual walk. Um, you know, Kirk and, and Tamala and, and David, they've been here all their yeah, lives. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. it's not like, you know, even Myron, you know. You know, my move was, has been really just simply because, you know, I believe that a part of my assignment on this earth at this particular point in time is to, you know, deliver a word in the Fort Worth area. Mm -hmm. And prayerfully, people will come from the surrounding areas and, and be encouraged through that, which they've heard, not through music only, right. uh, because I definitely sing on Sunday mornings, yeah, yeah. but, you know, uh, through the preached word. So, I, you know, me coming... I don't know if my impact is going to have anything to do with anything musically, mm -hmm. um, because my goal is is to make sure that uh, you know chosen vessel makes impact in, in, the, in the community in which we're in. Well, kind of switching gears a little bit. Uh, are you still going to be a Lions fan, or are you going to now be a Cowboys? Fan? I ain't never been a Lions fan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nobody in Lions fan. You know, strangely enough, I do know Lions fans, but no, definitely not Lions fan. And okay. everybody keeps talking about. It. I mean. I, I pick with I said, you know, uh, I got to make sure we out of church by one o'clock. Yeah. Uh, because down here is the father, son, and the cowboy ghost. <laughs> and uh, so, the I mean, cowboy ghost. cowboy ghost. So I have to do some things uh, to make sure that we get people out to go watch football. Hmm. Um, I haven't made up my mind yet. You know, everybody's like, are you going to be a Dallas Cowboy fan? Because um, believe it or not, I like one of their rivals. Uh -oh. You know, I'm, uh -oh. I'm, a good friend of mine played for the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. Uh, Brian Dawkins for years, a strong believer. And uh, so I'm a little bit of an Eagles fan right now. Okay. So y'all got to pray for me. Well, yeah, we're going to just lay hands and <laughs> pray about that situation. Well, let's talk about Marvin Sapp music, man. I know the last time you were here, mm -hmm. uh, there was so much controversy around the song, song Listen that oh, uh, you did with, uh, with R. Kelly. And mm -hmm. now since that time, things have totally changed for him. Mm -hmm. uh, are you still dealing with backlash from that? Or is that Actually, pretty much gone? strangely so, enough, no. Um, because I made my stance fairly clear mm -hmm. on how I felt about uh, the lyrical content of the song versus the lifestyle of the writer. Mm. And, um, you know, I, I, success, I felt like I successfully separated the two okay. uh, because uh, what I write 
is not who I am. Mm. Um, so I haven't received any more, you know, backlash other than the fact, you know, of course, they, the song was like number two at BDS. It was number two at Media Base, and then they pulled it off of uh, radio. Yeah. Um, outside of that, no. I did get a call from uh, Lifetime. I guess they're doing another uh, wow. show on, uh, you know, uh R. Kelly, okay, and they asked me that I want to be a part of it, and you know, absolutely declined because mm. I'm like it's a song, so yeah. you know yeah. I wasn't there when he did what he did, uh, if he did what he did. So I'm, you know, I'm just praying for him mm. in total. I mean, because you know I can't imagine um, being in that type of position yeah. um, where your life is up against the wall, um, looking at you know years and years possibly of jail time. But then I also can't, you know, I I just. I look at the whole situation and like, man, if, if, if it's true, what a trouble, what a trouble soul. And that's an individual that we absolutely need to pray for. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your song, man. Um, Never would have made it. And I know a lot of people probably did not hear of Marvin Sapp until mm -hmm. that song came out. Although you had been doing your thing for years before yeah, then. That was, I, I had like six albums. Yeah. That, yeah. But that was the song that, and I don't want to say put you on the map, but certainly took you into the stratosphere. Oh, yeah. So much so that you got people like DJ Khaled and Chance the Rapper and other people sampling it and singing it. And now, uh, just a few weeks ago, Justin Bieber, man. Yeah. The, the Beebs. That was uh, crazy. Sing, the, when you first <laughs> saw that, what, what was your thought? Well, my kids sent it to me. They were freaking out. They was like, <laughs> you know, Daddy, Justin Bieber singing your song. I said, what song Justin Bieber singing? He said, never would have made it. I said, you're kidding. Right? He said, no, no, it's on TMZ. So I went and looked it up, and I found that it was on TMZ. And I was like, man, you know, it's great to know that your music, you know, people, I didn't even look at it from the standpoint that it was Justin Bieber singing yeah, it. Yeah. I looked at it from the standpoint that it was an individual who isn't even a millennial. Wow, yeah. You know, Justin, like, yeah. you know, he's uh, in his early 20s. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he knows that song that's 14 years old, wow. mm -hmm. it's amazing, yeah. you know, so... That speaks to how, you know, certain songs, they literally transcend time, hmm. uh, ethnicity. Yeah. Um, I mean, so I'm grateful that God kind of used me as a conduit to, you know, to, to deliver a message that, yeah. you know, everybody's had and never would have made a moment. So yeah, absolutely. Big. But the fact that, you know, here's a song that came from your pen yeah. that's now on TMZ. And, and out, yeah. millions of people, <laughs> and it wasn't on TMZ hearing, for some bad, you right? Know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but millions of people who are just looking at TMZ, right, are hearing your song. And crazy enough, you know, people went and looked for it, you know, because wow. that's what they do. I mean, you know, like he's singing this song. Why is he singing this song? Yes, yeah. who sang this song? Where this song came from? And you know, the streams went up, and uh, you know, the hits went up, yeah. and. You know, of course, royalties go up. That. So, <laughs> Hallelujah! You know, thank God for Justin. <laughs> Hallelujah! You know, so but it's it's a blessing, man. I I um. Now, did you hear from him? Did you? No, I haven't heard from him. I haven't okay. heard from him. But I was just I listened to it and I was like, you know, I did kind of added him on on Instagram and mm -hmm. said, listen, man, you know, uh, keep soaring, you know, yeah. um, because you know people tend to question your relationship with God mm -hmm. when you're transitioning from a R and B hip hop world. Yeah. to a gospel world just as they're coming against you know even uh you know uh uh kanye kanye yeah you know it's 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 you know i mean people change hmm. and uh you know we just need to you know embrace them uh while they're going through that transformation period amen well understand that we have a new marvin sap uh, project that's in the works yes and so we'll we'll be talking about that soon mm -hmm. uh but man i appreciate you for coming through this uh today and Chosen Vessel, where can people find information about the church? You can find it. Just go straight to my social media site. They can go to anything Marvin Sapp. Okay. Uh, uh, look for the blue check. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, at Marvin Sapp. Or you can go to official Marvin Sapp page on Facebook. Hit like. And we'll be posting not only information, but they can watch our streaming services through Facebook Live and so Amen. on and so forth. Amen. Well, man, I appreciate you. Thank you, God sir. God bless you. Welcome Always. to DFW. Uh, we got to talk restaurants and, and favorite places. I found some. <laughs> What's your favorite? Uh, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I went to like like okay. We'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> but but the thing I like the most though is I'm I'm looking forward to going to the fair. Absolutely. They Absolutely. told me that's a big thing. I'm gonna give me some fried Dude, something. Absolutely. Deep fried turkeys, butter. I ain't never heard of this stuff before. <laughs> you know, Marvin Sapp is with us. Thanks for watching Gospel Sunday TV. Heart attack week. <laughs> <laughs>